Hi everyone, this is Peter McPhail with Lifestyle Properties of Maine. Welcome to our second episode in Maine's Fairs and Festivals series. In this episode, we are celebrating the 4th of July, and this is pregame, this is July 3rd. So the 4th of July, we've decided to celebrate this in Maine's third largest city, the city of Paul Bunyan, city of about 32,000 people. You guessed it, Bangor, Maine. Not Bangor, Maine, Bangor, Maine. So if you're new, new to our channel, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell, all, all notifications that help support our channel. And the parade celebration, 4th of July celebration starts tomorrow, actually in the Queen City of Brewer. And there's gonna be a pancake breakfast, breakfast at 7 a.m. in a car show. And it is free to veterans. I'm actually gonna be working there. We've gotta be there at six in the morning. So looking forward to that. And then there's a uh, Walter Hunt, the annual Walter Hunt 3K road race that starts at 945. And then the parade begins at 10, and that starts at Wilson Street in Brewer, and then that will finish up right on Main Street in Bangor. 12.30, the lunchtime, there's gonna be another car show at the Bangor waterfront, and then you'll get to enjoy some of the fantastic food, local food vendors that we have, the food trucks. So that'll be a good time. And then the amphitheater, amphitheater, there'll be a concert there, late afternoon, doors open at 5.30. And then the Bangor Symphony Orchestra will be playing around 8.30, followed by the finishing everything up with the fireworks. So really looking forward to that. Really great uh, to have you join me today. So hoping, folks, it has been raining for the whole month of June. Into July, it's been raining. The weather forecast tomorrow, 70% chance of rain. So let's hope we can. Uh, the festivities will not be held up by the weather. Thanks for coming along. Hey, guys. It is... Just before 6 a.m., 4th of July, we are at Jeff's Catering. This is the beginning of the celebration. We have the pancake breakfast and the car show. So let's go in and see where we can help out. All right, so we're getting ready for the breakfast. I'm here with Jen with the Kiwanis Club. And so, Jen, the planning for this, how long are we talking? Uh, we started in January planning for this. And planning, to tell me about a little bit about today's events. I mean, this is the pancake breakfast. Yeah, this is for to honor our veterans, uh, and if the veterans come, they eat for free, and then anyone that comes out to support our veterans is fifteen dollars a person. And families come out. Uh, the news stations will be here. Uh, anything that we can do to make them feel special on this day is today. Excellent. Thank you, Jen. This is the car show at the pancake breakfast. All right, I'm here with the Anna Funsters, and there is a big controversy that the clowns are more fun than the Funsters, Elmo. Uh, that's a lie. The clowns are not as cool as us Funsters. You guys certainly could have swept more is what I was told. It's all worth it, though, because we're having a great time helping raise money for the hospitals and for the shrine. Awesome. Thank you, Elmo. High five. The Model T has fired up. Wilson Street in Brewer. A little bit of congestion here at the beginning of the parade, and they are heading towards the Bangor Bridge to cross over into Bangor. We had to take a 20 minute break after the parade just to take a quick power nap because we've been going, Carson and I have been going since 4.30 this morning. 
we're gonna head over to the car show and check out some food vendors, see if there's anything good to eat. So come along. All right, so we've arrived at the food trucks. This is a little, little piggy. This little piggy is what we're hitting first. So uh, let's see what we can find. But share with me in the comments below your favorite thing to do on the 4th of July, whether it's food, whether it's an event, or something you're hanging with. Share that in the comments below. All right, so Carson got the, what's this called, bud? Just a loaded mac and loaded cheese. Loaded mac and cheese with burnt ends. Yeah. And then I got the so to go choice too. burnt ends with mac and cheese as a side. So we're going to dig in and um, see what it's like. All right, guys, we just left the food court. I'm here with William. Uh, William, what brings you out today? Uh, well, to support the uh, parade, 4th of July parade. I walk uh, with the rest of the veterans celebrating our... Uh, birth of our nation and then I have a an automobile an automobile an antique actually it's an antique race car so they advertised uh, food court you know food trucks and whatever so after the parade uh, I hit my car down here this morning the car from Boston I hit my car at the casino because figuring the wheels would still be on it when I got here and then uh, so here we are, here and we are. the weather's holding the, the weather is holding, and I gotta know what you have for a car. Uh, 55 Chevy, they call them gases. They were the uh, high tech race car of the, of the day. Uh, picture this you, you, you come home to your father, you buy a brand new Chevy, and you pull it in the driveway, and you break out the torches, you cut the whole front end out, throw it away. Put an early Ford front end in, move the engine back six inches, and do, do all kinds of crazy stuff to it. But that's what they did in the day to make them. Now, you see these guys on TV, they're going over 300 miles an hour, like John Force and all that. Crazy. But it's still an expensive little hobby, even. I raced down the England Dragway and uh, over on Winterport. You know, price of gas, you got to have an enclosed trailer, you got to stay over. If you don't want to get, uh, you know, bed bugs and uh, flea bites, you got to stay in a decent place. Yeah. Well, William, we appreciate your, number one, I appreciate your service and mm -hmm. appreciate you coming out and supporting the parade today. And after we're done eating our, uh, burnt ends and pulled pork we'll go check out your car thank you We finished the car show, had to come back and take a little bit of a break. We're going to head back to the festivities and see if we can catch the concerts going on right now. See if we can get in there and get a, get a seat. Let's go. So we have the Stone Doctors playing right now and they are a Rolling Stones cover band. Let's see if we can get in. Kudos to the Stone Doctors. They are a group of doctors, uh, medical professionals that play benefit concerts to raise money for children with, that are fighting cancer. And they've, to date, I think they've raised close to, well, they've raised hundreds of thousands of dollars. So kudos to them for putting on a concert tonight.
So we started this video on the Bengal waterfront, so I thought it would be fitting to finish here at the beautiful Brewer waterfront as well. So the thanks for celebrating the 4th with me, the Greater Bangor Brewer celebration. The most, I'd say the thing I enjoyed the most, certainly the breakfast this morning was fun to hang out with some veterans. The uh, concert, the free concert at the amphitheater is a fantastic venue. The sound quality there, the acoustics are amazing. The chairs are incredibly comfortable, just a great venue. So the Stone Doctors were fabulous. The uh, Bangor Symphony Orchestra were amazing. The one thing that was kind of threw us for a loop, they typically have the fireworks over the Penobscot River. And this time they changed, this year they changed the location of the fireworks. Those were, it looked like they were coming from somewhere around Bass Park and or the Bangor Municipal Golf Course. So you, we missed, we kind of missed that. And so the footage that you see of the fireworks is not what you would typically see. Usually right there from the amphitheater, you'd step outside and you're watching the fireworks go. But hey, we appreciate you watching. We'll be bringing you another episode from our main fairs and festivals real soon. Look forward to seeing you guys.